Welcome back everybody to the Beyond the Summit coverage of the WPC Dota 2 Championship in China. We've got the Eastern Group Stages, Dreamtime taking on Invictus Gaming. I'm Gods, I've been left by LD, but I've been joined by another good friend of mine. It's Winter. How are you doing, Winter? Hello? I'm good. Oh. I'm good. I'm the stand-in. The stand-in? You're more than a stand-in, Winter. Don't have to... Don't have to refer to yourself as a stand-in. You're, you're a part of the team. <laughs> Uh, I just made it feel like you because LD left you and I'm the, yeah. <laughs> I'm the sub. You're you're at least on the team. You may not be on the the main roster, but you're on the team. You're the uh, you. I don't know. I was, I was gonna make like a basketball reference, but I don't really watch much sports. I'm the C hub. The C hub. Yeah, the C hub <laughs> <laughs> for the TI qualifiers. Oh. Uh... Uh... Speaking of TI4 qualifiers, congratulations. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the TI4 qualifiers. Thank you. But, uh, when we, uh, you're also going to WPC. Speaking of, when we were casting WPC, you're also going to China soon for WPC, aren't you? Yeah, next week, next Thursday. Ah, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Are you guys prepared? Uh, hopefully. They're coming over for bootcamp like one week before the okay. event tomorrow. So the, uh, your house is going to become the, the, boot, the boot camp location again? The, the dungeon. <laughs> the rape dungeon. <laughs> we watch out. There's a lot of uh, a lot of suspicious activities going on in that dungeon. Man, they they are here for the second time. They know the place well already. Okay, okay. I don't think Darcy ever returned. What did, what did you do with Darcy? I have not seen him since no, we went he, to your house. No, he told he told me he misses my dungeon. Ah, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. <laughs> um, okay. IG versus Dreamtime. These two teams played recently in the Summit Asia. Dreamtime actually beat IG 2-0. So Dreamtime, not a team to be underrated by any means. And IG, just losing to DK. Did you get to catch much of that, or were you still at work, Winter? I was at work, but I finished both the replays already. Oh, wow. You're you're a swift one. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, it was, they were both pretty one-sided games, especially Game 2, but um, the Game uh, 1 as well. It, there was something I was uh, very... There's something very that caught my attention a lot. It was basically the second game, the Shadow Demon and Chantress game with the Lifestealer against the Ursa. The game, Faith and Chuan didn't really play as a unit. I, yeah. Do you remember the first gank where they smoke all the way to the jungle and one is walking left and one is walking right and they revealed the smoke and they didn't get to kill anyone? There was supposed to be a kill there. But because yeah. Chuan was walking left, Faith was walking right. Lam was in a really good position to scout out the smoke ground. Get yeah, smoke that, that's on the high why... Ground. I, I felt Chuan made the better decision. He was like walking. He wanted to go from the right hand side where it's a lower risk that the supports would be there to reveal the smoke. And he was yeah. actually right because there was someone standing on the cliff. But and Faith they, was like, "No, we got to do this. We're going up." They actually scattered out. They actually scattered out Lamb too. They knew he was there because Lua was contesting the pull. Like he went over to where the double yeah, pull was, so yeah, he actually yeah, saw yeah. the lion there. It was I really weird. I, don't know. I, I thought it was like a very huge mistake. They were not on the same page. I think what situation. they were trying to maybe do is have Luo initi like Luo bait them in, and they he'll get an open wounds off, and uh, then the then they come uh, out uh, of the smoke. She, she wasn't in range. I remember yeah. they had to yeah. start with the disruption. That's why I felt that Chuan actually made the correct decision to walk the other side. While Faith yeah. was like, "No, we are going this side," and it was a no. We had back. at the end of the game, we had the Twitch chat up in arms blaming Luo, but I feel like that game was mostly like the support yeah, locations the not working. Up. I felt it was like the supports mainly because it, they were yeah. supposed they had the Shadow Demon and Chantress against uh uh what was their lineup? Lion and NA, the other two supports, yeah. the enemies. Yeah, right. Lion and NA is like very weak at the start. And you, you pick Shadow Demon and Chantress against Lion and and Nyx Assassin and you don't have an advantage then later part the Nyx and the Lion will be very a lot more powerful than your Shadow Demon and Enchantress. Okay, well, uh, we'll get ourselves into a new series, though. IG, hopefully they can bounce back. This time around, it's going to be a Ferrari 430 Invoker, I believe. Team Although Luo does play the Invoker every now and then. It is an Invoker safe pick lane. for IG. Yeah, he plays the safe lane Invoker. Yeah. I think I remember him on the safe lane. He's done it a few times, and they get the Shadow Demon Centaur, so most likely we'll be seeing the Exod Invoker come out. Of What's your favorite game. change of this patch? <laughs> I have to ask you that. <laughs> um, I haven't... I haven't even like I can't I don't know I didn't read through the chains log properly winter I'm so I'm gonna admit it. <laughs> I re I read I skimmed through it and then like I didn't like I didn't really like ingrain it in my memory so I'm not uh, sure my favorite. I'll, I'll tell you my favorite. Oh, okay, it's the Tide Hunter anchor smash IG's on ancient. That's my pick. favorite. You like said that as Tide Hunter got picked. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> that was my favorite. Ah, okay. I hmm. I I'm not the sixty sure percent reduction actually is very helpful for him to do the ancient stack as well. You can yeah. actually do it when you're level five, assuming you have a uh, tranquil boots and so a mana remaining. item, maybe a soul ring. Yeah, can actually keep doing stacks. I tried five it. Seconds it's pretty remaining. useful. To me, like, there weren't any big enough changes to say, like, oh, that's my favorite change. It feel this doesn't feel like 6.81, because it feels like, it still feels like 6.80, like, just with, like, 6.80B with, like, some small balance changes. Oh, the, the one thing, the other thing I felt that was quite significant was the Centaur change. Dire team it makes bad. him unable, because usually t teams, like, they build the Centaur, starting item, you get a stock, Tango, and a South, or you start with the Boots and a Tango. Yeah. It means that the Centaur can't use the Storm twice at level 1. That's level 1 stomp is, yeah, much worse. Wow. Yeah, it's like the same as level 4, but at level 1 meaning. you have, if I'm not mistaken, you have 205 or 210 mana, you, yeah. and the, the whole storm is like IGs 130. So you have to wait a long time before you have mana for the second storm. Okay. Unless you get a clarity, which I think it's a bit weird, but that I think maybe you have to either get a branch or clarity right now on Centaur. You can't like go for stock and rush for the tranquil boots like what DK Ten did. Seconds it's remaining. Like Mushi does it like so that he can gank very efficiently with the, the movement Five speed on the tranquil boots, but remaining. now you are not so efficient anymore because of the mana problems. Yeah. I think my favorite Reserve change is time. the Zeus, to answer your question. <laughs> Darn. I, think, I, I like I like the new Zeus. Team pick. Okay, well, fair enough. I think he's it's a good like a small addition to his skill set, but I I kind of doubt like how effective it will be in the actual yeah. game. No, I, I, it gives like some more utility to him. Like you can use it for dewarding. You can maybe you can... they give like a magic immunity. Uh, like the static field goes. I uh, like what was the third the third Ten spell static charge remaining. that goes through magic immunity. Then he'll be very strong. <laughs> wow, that might be almost like Imba Five level. I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe probably. I but I I feel like he's not like very super useful type I of hero. Like he can be pick. picked from time to time to fit in a global lineup. Maybe. Yeah. 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 We'll talk about these two drafts here. Weaver, the last pick for Dreamtime to go with an Ancient Apparition, Bane, Marana, Tide. Oh, Looking that's actually pretty scary. Good team fight. Um, what do you make of these drafts, Winter? Uh, I kind of I only played like two, three CM mode games on the new patch, but I feel like the Tide Hunter buff is pretty useful, and the AA really? nerf is not that not that significant. I feel so. The lane where they have right now, AA Bane or Marana or Bane. AA and Beaver is still going to be very, very, very strong. They have very strong lanes. And looking at the matchups, maybe they're going to do Totem against Invoker. Which I'm not very sure what hero is going to go middle for them. Basically, they can have everyone in the middle lane, their cause. Yeah, it, they really can. So, XDD normally plays the carry. He doesn't actually. Do you think, do, do, do you think they'll do a dual lane, maybe? Like hmm. uh, AA and Weaver on the safe lane, Bane and Mirana on the middle lane, and Tide just off lane. It's harder for them to get kills in the early game. Like, they can win two of the lanes there, but they're not going to get kills. Like, instead, they could get maybe, like, win one lane, but at least get kills. I guess it depends on, like, mm. how much they want to try and. Yeah, the, shut but down the thing ID. is, if they do AA and Weaver on top, Bane and Portal Middle, if they are able to shut down, like, at least they're going to be able to shut down the Invoker a lot. Oh, the Tide is going to TP out. Is he placing wards? Wow. Yeah, he is. He wants to go really deep with this ward, because if, yeah. if you just run down, he. Oh. Where's he going with it? You don't need a huh. TP for that, do you? No, you don't. You don't. You, but there's a chance like, but usually if you start with boost, you definitely reach faster than the enemy. But some teams have been known to have like they they buy boots on their supports and they run right over to these areas as soon as possible so that yeah. they can scout out the, because most off laners are getting boots now, so they can scout out the precise positioning of the ward. But this game, it seems like they felt that. It's much more safer for them to place the award with the TP since IG have Shadow Demon Lash Rock. Very heavy roaming supports. The third pick for the trial line is going to be a Wraith King. So offensive trial line from IG. Yeah, but I was like thinking the same as you. Like, I thought he would have placed it around here maybe since he, yeah. he used the TP scroll. If you're using a TP scroll, you want to go like really deep to block the pull. Even like try and block the big. Well, you don't really need to block the big camp. There's no big jungler. But... Yeah, I think so too. I, just, I felt like it's just like more important to place it deeper so you can at least have more vision instead of. Yeah. Since you already invested 135 gold on it. He doesn't necessarily need it deep because he actually wants the, the ward there to scout like when they're actually positioned like around here to actually yeah. go in and get that, get that gank on him. So 
Um, we'll see. Contest over the top oh, range. Going to go the way of IG. They scout out the offensive try lane, I believe. They see Shadow Demon top lane. They should expect there to be less track with him, so... Nice. This game, like the one we saw earlier with the Shadow Demon Enchantress, is going to come down a lot to the Shadow Demon less track as far as how this support duo works. Uh, another part is also going to be down to the, both the solo lanes. And before we start, go ahead and introduce the players. Alright, we'll introduce our two teams here. I'll start with the Dire side. We've got Team Dreamtime, DT Club. We've got Injulai on the off lane, Tidehunter. Mid lane's going to be Air on the Weaver. Top lane's going to be your Trilane Bane, Not being played by you. Super. We've got Dreamy on the Ancient Person, XDD playing the Farming Marana for Dreamtime. And who do we have on IG side, Winter? Yeah, and on the IG side, playing the Radiant, we have uh, Chuan. Oh, they're going to go in right now with the disruption. XDD possibly in trouble here. Marana getting chained Sun doesn't have leap, has arrow. It's all over for XDD, or at least it should be. Yep, he goes down. Oh, he, he wait. He dispelled the Nightmare with the Illusion from the disruption. That's very well played. Yeah, but on the Radiant side, we have Tron on the Lash Rod, who are playing the Wraith King. Faith will be handling the Shadow Demon, Ferrari will be on the middle lane Invoker, and lastly, we have Power F on the Centaur. So, Centaur versus Tide, this should be pretty oh, tight kind of favored. Top lane, top lane. Yeah, again, super caught out this time around. No Nightmare for you, he doesn't even have the mana for it. Oh, he has mana now! Oh, almost, could it almost go to Deny off there, but... Shadow Demon getting another kill for IG. Yeah, they didn't even use the, like, the Sun Strike for that. <laughs> Oh, they still wow. had a sun strike. And Ferrari's doing pretty well mid lane. This central will help him out a lot because it means Weaver can't use Shikuchi to dodge right clicks, and in Shikuchi form, he can still take a lot of harass. Did the support place it there? Did not even see yeah. like, from the start? Um, Shadow Demon came by mid lane, dropped the central there, and then went back top. Oh yeah, that's actually super helpful against the uh, Weaver. Yeah. And the bottom lane, I'm actually pretty interested to see actually which hero like. Has the upper edge, uh, upper hand on this like, matchup. Anchor Smash with 60, it's also got buffed to 60% damage reduction. Anchor Smash is really good now. Yeah, technically you don't have to right click the center in return because Mid you just harass him. They've yeah. gone in Ferrari, they want to get a kill on this one, and with the Chilling Touch, they get another kill. Or they get their first kill dream time. Yeah. Chilling Touch, very, very, damn, very, very pain. But yeah, like you said, the Tide Hunter should have the edge here, yeah, since he doesn't have to right click the Centaur for the return to proc Dyer's and just Harris with the Anchor Smash. Attack. Yeah. That's a much needed kill, I feel, for DT. It's so the right here to go ganking. Uh, they can't really fight the trailing top, but they get a kill uh, in the mid lane on the Invoker. Yeah. Talk about middle lane Invokers, the game where Ice 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 was ganked constantly. <laughs> yeah. But it's Invoker. Back top, the support to go, so. They can still fight the trial and I feel like, especially now they get their level 2s, so they'll get level 3 soonish, they've got Leap, they've got Arrow, like this trial lane's, it's, it's off to a bad start, but I don't think, do you feel like, I, I, I don't feel like IG have the much stronger trial lane, even after the 2 kills. Uh, if you put into account the Sun Strike, yeah, they actually have the okay. much potent, the much more potent trial. But even without the Sun Strike, we saw the first 2 kills, it's, they, they did enough damage to, to, to get the kills, Yeah. regardless. Right. And and the buff on the Lightning Storm, I don't know how well that will work though, having a 0.5 second slow on the Lightning Storm. It's... yeah, it's, it's not it's that those, long. It's those small little things where, oh, well, it's nice to have that, but it's not really like a huge matter, I feel. No. And here comes the smoke, coming for the Invoker once more, yeah. Invoker oh, is like a, a good easy... position to scout, Dyer's the space is perfectly positioned, he sees it. Oh, he, uh, he was in a very like... Very, very well, well, good, well, well spotted position to dispel the smoke. And I don't know. He, he, that was what he was <laughs> intending to do, I believe. I think he knew the smoke gank was coming, yeah. or at least a good chance. Uh, they didn't have a vision. They didn't have any vision on the jungle, but you sort of know that they are not like the enemy is not pulling the camp. It's yeah. going to be a rotation, it's either middle or bottom. And he he also knows like they're not going to come fight the trailing top. You said like the trailing for IG is stronger because of the sun strike. So if they're not top, they're not pulling. Their only option is to smoke towards mid or bottom. So. I if I they thought they bottom... would actually, yeah, I thought they would actually go bottom though, to be honest, because it's like a much easier kill at bottom lane than the middle one, yeah. because of the positioning of the hero on the ramp. That's where Super's ended up, he's actually now bottom lane. I think why we have trying to scout him yeah. out. Yeah. They see them like, come into the jungle here with the Observer Ward though, so. Yeah, they, they know that the Bane is there, so he's gonna just trying to sniff out where is the exact position. And Faith is going to rotate him, two of them can get a kill on the Bane with the Sun Strike. Yeah, uh, that's he's... all. Super is oh, no. very he trapped here. If he's... he doesn't get out and he gets... Oh, I think he's going to get spotted. Oh, they yeah. know he's somewhere. They know he's got no TP. He's going to get nightmare up. Oh, Super now going to walk into a hoof stomp and uh, 
Sun Strike to follow. Super gonna go down. One more right click will finish him off. Nice stuff for IG. Emo top lane. Ray King actually in trouble. He may go down. He does do so. Nice change. That was just a Maran AA. I believe they would have hit an arrow to initiate yeah. him. They got, they got the arrow to initiate. Yeah. Good little kill going away at dream time. Yeah, and looking at the CS uh, of the other lanes, we was actually having quite a good time against the Invoker because the Invoker was like forced to play safe. Bottom lane. Yeah, guys being a... Oh, he's stuck? No. He's fine. He, you, he's got Ravage as well. If you try and fight him, he Ravages plus Anchor Smashes, then... Uh, IG almost... Like, I don't think they want to fight into the Tide Hunter. Yeah, I think this is a point where you would want to go to the Tide lane to get a kill since he has Ravage already. It's very easy for them to score a kill. <laughs> Super's there, but he's level 2, so it's only a level 1 brain sap, not the... Uh... Yeah, I'd rather the AA be here though, easier to get a kill top lane. They're gonna try and outrun the AA. Oh, they use Stampede for this and everything. Dreamy you gonna get slowed. The arrow gonna hit Tuan though! Dreamy you will go down, but Tuan may be the return kill. Kai gonna show up, has a Ravage, gonna use it, cancels the TP. Tuan will go down, possibly Lu as well. Lu is still just level 4, no ultimate for him. Uh, he's dead, he's dead. Weaver sure. showing up, yep. Can't use his salve, no way out for Luo. Spend all his gold already. Just let himself go down. Doesn't even use himself. He just spends his money. So, uh, not a bad idea for IG to die for that kill, but the Titan or TP in really smart and the perfect arrow coming out from Mirana. Yeah, there was there was just a very good timing for the Tide to just come in, and now the Bane is free to get like a lot of much needed levels at the bottom lane. Yeah, he needs to be Dyer's make sure he doesn't get caught by a disruption. But attack. hey, he just stays out uh, far as far away as possible in XP range, which is exactly what he's doing. A is gonna come down as well. They want to defend, like to TP. stop IG. Weaver has a TP. No, Tight doesn't have a TP, but yeah, Weaver has a TP. Weaver doesn't have a lot of mana though. No. If he TPs in, he'll be left with 100 mana. Yep. Maybe you kill Shadow Demon, but not much. I doubt you get the Centaur. Yeah, it's not very. It's like it's a bit too risky. If he TPs in, just gets a support kill. It's not too worth it. Yep. But Tide's gonna walk down good. here though. Chan is gonna come here. Yeah, the Ward is gonna spot that as well. The team coming in, the Tide's here as well, so uh, Super should be okay. Tide gonna look for the counter gate here, they go on Faith, TP coming in. This is the Weaver. Uh, Anchor Smash not gonna hit, his Faith should go down here. Weaver gonna show up, get that kill. Can they get any more here? In July, has got a gush in 5 seconds. Chuan probably, probably gonna not. be the target. They have to dive very deep if they want yeah. to go for Chuan. Too far, Chuan TP's um, towards mid. Oh, this TP, this TP is very good reaction. Like, Dying they know that they tp the Weaver the onto bottom and there's 4 heroes bottom and immediately he TP's middle to drop Edict. This is very good. Very good play from Chuan. Doesn't do a whole lot though. Uh, gets the tower yeah, down below half HP. Yeah, I think he did enough damage and they can still take it now with Faith coming in. A shows they're, up and there's still a siege. Yeah. There's still a siege creep. They're, they're, looking to, they're looking to burst down the Weaver here. The chain stun is perfect. Oh my oh, god. He's the you got annihilated. Stampede now being used. I don't think they're going to get too much follow kills on this Dreamy on the high ground. Gold snapped up, taking a bit of damage, but that first damage on Weaver, he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> that was like literally a squash butt. Yeah. He was full HP at the start. Yeah, pure damage and uh, so. Soul and catcher. Curse. Yeah, soul catcher. <laughs> and perfectly time, time stun from Tuan. So there we go. Tiawa should go down. TP coming in. This is the Weaver. Tiawa's already dead, so Weaver's not going to do too much. Tower. Tuan actually That's did fun. get Nightmare up, and this will be a dead left track, but. Yeah, it's worth okay it. trade for the tower. Yeah, he actually he actually could have uh, escaped, but I think that he didn't really like he just wanted to make sure the tower didn't get denied. Yeah. So he like wanted to trade his life. I think it's worth it if he's it's just a support doing that. Because he, he could have left the tower, but I think DT would have denied, managed to deny the yeah, tower. Yeah, it's like how much? It, it's like a five or six hundred gold extra bonus if it's not denied. Yeah, it's quite a lot, but yeah. And the support kill is not that big. Like that's less than five hundred. Like maybe about five, it's similar trade that as far as the gold that uh, DT get. Yeah, it's ab about the same. I, I feel it's not that much big difference. But now, because of the tower not getting denied, Centaur is going to be one hundred, uh, two hundred gold away from his blink right now. Yeah. The Centaur getting a fairly fast fling. Invoker got his Midas off of that too, and Ferrari now back to farming. Hits level A, about to be level 9, so he'll have his double Ford Spirits in just a second. Oh, they are very scary with the blink on the Centaur with the Sunstrike in a few moments. No one can farm safely, and even like a hero like Weaver's gonna uh, be. Maybe very the Tide? Hard. Only the Tide? <laughs> Radiance yeah. bottom tower. Maybe the attack. Tide. You, you never even know. Like, if the Shadow Demon or someone's there as well, like, he. He's cracking so props and then you just like disrupt yeah, him out. Soul catcher, then you're like soul catcher double edge and sunstrike. <laughs> Mirana top fighting Lua gets a kill on Lua, but uh, reincarnation he may actually go down. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna yeah. die. 
What? That was not a good trade. <laughs> Even using the stampede, although they didn't need the stampede for it. I, they just wanted to make sure that the, the skeleton king. Why? Why? Yep. Ravage is gonna be there. Ravage misses. Oh, oh in July. Oh dear. Oh, that was actually a that was a really good idea, but yeah, it was just like a little bit too far. That ravage move speed just a little bit too slow. Yeah. But look at that slow from the lightning storm. <laughs> I haven't actually seen it's, the slow and It looks like a, it seems like a very similar to the tether. Like you have a, a slight slow, 100% yeah. slow on the tether, but this is like 50%, is it? And 75%. Yeah. 75% oh. is pretty much a full slow though. Yeah, it's uh, very close to the, the tether. Ice Blast is going to stall down the push at bottom lane. So. This is going to be another T1 tower going down. This one... Yeah, not they can't fight without Ravage. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. DT are going for a bit of a counter push in mid lane, but TP is going to start coming in. That's your Centaur starting things off. He's going to blink. He can kill the Mirana. He can kill the Mirana with Sunstrike. Radiant's yeah, they didn't see the blink. Uh, the arrow not scanning him out. Blink, Hoofstorm catches two Sunstrikes there as well. XDD gets out of there. The Sunstrike, not enough damage. YYF doesn't have Stampede as well. YYF may just go down. The Beetle giving vision here, and Weaver Air wants to chase this one. One more Shikuchi. Not enough damage from the right click. He got the beetle off of him, and now why we have trying to turn this one around? And needs to chase and chase harder. Radiant's the Kuchi damage not going to be there, attack. and he backs off. So, yeah, the stick charges from the Mirana. I didn't see how many stick charges. I think she had a lot. Save her. No. Actually, barely getting out of that. Oh, uh, Air is going to get spotted. Oh no, he's not going to get spotted. Maybe they saw him. Radiant's top tower is under yeah, attack. But... If the Centaur, the Centaur needed like one a little bit more damage, right? He didn't have ulti, that's why he couldn't chase for that. Yep. But nevertheless, they defended their tower. That's yeah, that, that's true. Uh, for IG, like they don't succeed in getting the kills, but they lose no one. They defend their tower. They took the tier one bottom. Uh, yeah. Now, now they're gonna maybe swing their attention towards the top lane. Mm, I think in the middle game though, I I feel like DT could actually be much stronger because they have a lot of team fight with the Tide and the AALT. So they can afford to be... Mech as well. Yeah, they can afford to like lose some early towers, but they're still going to be able to take a fight later on. Huh. Luo actually went for Midas. I don't think I've ever seen Rave Kings go for such a very farming oriented build. Most of the time it's going for a very aggressive like playstyle with the Rave King Blink. Amlet. I've seen a lot of Midas on the Western team to go Wraith King. Oh, okay. It's like, I would say I've seen like almost at least half the games I've seen Wraith King and seen Midas. You can go in with Moonlight. Oh, oh no, I'm Ferrari. Gash a couple right clicks. The Ice Blast is there. The Arrow going to pitch more well. Sunstrike not going to land as well. Top lane Stampede's being used. Super going to be brought down. That's a dead bane to start the fight off. I believe that Weaver getting that caught out in the disruption. Not the best target for the disruption. And a great Ravage from in July. YYF's going to be the fourth one to go down. Everyone just melted on the IG side. It's Nothing. a triple kill for XDD, and that's a big play from DT. Nice smoke, they kill the Invoker, and then IG are just trapped between four heroes and a tower at the top lane. Yeah, the buyback wasn't necessary, but it's not going to do too much uh, economical loss for them. Buyback was on... The, the Bane. Bane. Okay. Yeah, like you say, it's more like a couple hundred gold he spent. 375, so... Radiant's a bit unnecessary, but it's fallen. not going to really hurt them that much. Mm, they're gonna try and kill this Weaver as soon as uh, Santok revives. Okay. Ooh, they get the disruption. Dust, left track stun, well timed. Air could be in some trouble here. They get Sunstrike up the hoofstop as well. Air goes down nicely played by IG. Yeah, he got a bit like cocky. Like the Santok was about to respawn. I felt he, he should have backed that, that time. Well, let's get there, IG. They're gonna lose the tower though, I think. No Ravage and the yeah. tower is like 168. It's this is a IG have four heroes as well. They don't need. They don't even need Lua on the right team to join them. Lua's is getting some decent farm, but I'm like he's making his way towards an armlet now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh, I feel like without without the bling like this, top tower you can't actually fallen. play that aggressive with this hero. I, I feel like with the bling you can fully utilize the ultimate, the reincarnation. Mm -hmm. I really like, I like the Blink Blade Mail type build, yeah. but... Yeah, uh, me too, me too. I, I don't know about like, what other players think, like, but I, I feel like they... Like the hero is like, a lot of the hero is about his stun and his ultimate, like the rest of the two skills, and he's not exactly a very good like farming hero, so wow. I, I think like, 
the blink build is really strong on him. Top tower is I think the mice is nice because you get the levels to get up to your level 2 and level 3 ultimate fast. Mm -hmm. Like going no, minus you get into kills. Minus you get blink kills in nice. blink. You get levels. What's that? You get kills in blink. You get levels. Yeah. You go minus then blink. Like by the time, like he's. Oh, I don't think he's going blink. No, I don't think so either. But. <laughs> yeah, but but the the good thing is like this Radiant patch, she got the critical strike attack. and she got buff a little. Yeah, top lane. Top Why wait? Blink didn't he? Tried to get them around. Unfortunately, he didn't land it. Arrow is gonna miss Chuan. Don't walk into that. And. uh... Well, no kill's gonna go either way at the top lane. Yeah, I, but I think if the pace continues like this, like everyone's moving around trying to trying to fight their towers, it would actually favor IG more because they have two miners with the Rave King and the Invoker, and DT have like, do they have one? Yeah, they have one on the Mirana. Yeah. DT want to fight though. They've just got the mech on the tide, and every time Ravage is up, they'll try and take these fights. But uh, getting them not always gonna be the easiest thing. Also, Dreamy, you. He's all the, or more, more than halfway towards Dyer's his ag set, so we can see a pretty fast attack. ags on the Ancient Apparition. I think it's very important for the Tide to have a blink this game, because like, yeah. the reason is being like, because the Centaur has a uh, blink, Dyer's so it's very difficult for the Tide to get a better attack. initiation, not to mention Stampede, they can just get out, they can just get out of trouble. And... They've got no initiation apart, like, they have no Allies long range initiation. Disappear. Ravage, you have, he's going to walk into Ravage, unless Mirana hits a long range arrow, which is unlikely, Dyer's they're not going to be able to use it yet. They're not going to be able to initiate uh, at all. It's very hard for him to walk in and Ravage, there's yeah. like too many, like, Skeleton King stun, Cold Snap, there's disruption. It's very difficult, it's a very low percentage thing that it might happen. No, well, Lua at bottom line will be kept safe here, he backs off from a, a yeah, even smoke they... tank, so. They smoked under this ward here, and IG was like ah, super, okay. super yeah. aware of what was happening. Yeah. Well, DT making a T1 tower push at bottom lane. Fighting this is going to be hard. Uh, Air picks up an ultra orb to make himself a bit tankier. Injulai's got his Ravage, and it looks like YWF is going to be looking to kind of Dyer's apply some pressure at top lane as attack. much as he can. Right? Yeah, He's still in the front lines. He's manning up. Do they have any back? Oh, they don't have any back. Why we have a blink dagger? They start to stun. The oh, hooks aren't going to follow. Stun. They want in July with this one. They're trying to force out the Ravage. He will throw it. The Stampede means Centaur doesn't get hit by it. It's just Lua. And Lua's got reincarnation. Five oh, man no. reincarnation That's slow. Good. Oh, what a disaster here. The Sunstrike not going to actually land on anyone. They're going to focus down super first. And that's going to be a dead vein here. Next is Dreamy U. The AA goes down. And the chase is on. Lua's going to stun in two seconds. He'll get the tide with this one. Tide's in trouble. In July should go down. One more trouble finish him off. But double kill for Lua. Oh, wow, that was poor Ravage from Tide. That was that was just the reincarnation doing work. <laughs> Even if they hit the Centaur and kill the Centaur and the Ravage, they still lose that fight. Yeah, we, I, I, I think regardless they would have lost that fight. But IG themselves made like a few mistakes in the fight as well. They missed the stun on the AA earlier, and they missed the sun strike. The sun strike was I don't know what that sun strike uh, was. Trying they to could have I think could have taken one more kill, but yeah, they still won the fight regardless. <laughs> and. That's why I was thinking, I was, I was saying, without the dagger, the Ravage is not going to be good. Bottom tower Even, I don't think he wanted to blink Ravage those two heroes. He needs to wait until, like, Shadow Demon and Invoker show up. Ah, uh, yeah, like, true. Let's he needs, find the support. He Squishy needs to Ravage, area. especially the the Shadow Demon and the Invoker. Oh, bottom lane, big stomp. Super's going to go. Is he going to go down? Oh, no sun strike. And this Nightmare is <laughs> <Yeah>. sun strike. <laughs> Lol. That's what he was waiting for. He's like, come on, <laughs> use that Nightmare. <laughs> He yeah, gets a double damage room, but he does not want to fight bottom lane. Uh, he may find a couple Chuan could be dead if they try to take the tower. Chuan's got no TP. Yeah, He's I think Chuan is dead. Radiance top tower is under yeah. attack. Uh, Luo needs to show a stun soon, but the Shikuchi back up. Edge, oh, pop uh, that DD and kill Chuan. They missed the blast though. This might be difficult. Uh, they can't kill him after Radiance the blast miss. Top tower is a double damage. He hasn't used his double damage room. Oh, didn't he use it? Okay, no. that's fine. What are you doing? He, he could have got a double kill. Both Luo and and Chuan are both so low. Radiance top Air man, tower use is the under DD. Attack. I don't think he would have gotten a double kill, but yeah, he was gonna get the kill on Chuan for sure. At least, yeah, at least Chuan. Luo oh got hit God. by an arrow there as well, so Luo was actually top getting really is low. And T2 tower gonna go Dyer's down, but Air man. Dyer's middle tower that? has fallen. That was just a, a common miss. Oh, just a mistake. Sometimes you click it, but you actually didn't click it. Oh well, yeah. happens. So Shit Lua's happens. got a ton of farm now. He's got 3k gold to go with his Treads Midas armlet. Uh, the Midas actually is already paying off right now. Yeah. Super. Pay paying off a lot to his economy. Yeah. Both, I don't know. Both IG Midas are. Ferrari's got a Necro 3 now, as well as hitting level 11. Mm. So. I don't know what he'll go next though, like for the Skytech. A Rave King. 
It's a lot of good items that he can go for. I like Mjolnir, some... but Mjolnir build's always nice. Uh, SNY could. I don't know if SNY could be good on him. Like, he just needs to have HP to chase down yeah. two of the supports. I don't it's, know if you go for that. It's a Chinese team, so I think we may see a BKB. Chinese teams love their BKBs. <laughs> So in so that you have at, at least three lives, BKB. Oh, Sunstrike! Wow. You... He sniffed that one out. He stopped running into it. Yeah, he was like a straight ram. Most of the Sunstrike would come on th these type of positions. Yeah. Yeah, but like you said, the BKB is actually very good yeah. against the Tide, especially. But I don't know, man. I feel like a hero like Rave King, you just go damage. You just want to of... die. Like that's what uh, to me. I I, I yeah, don't think just the BKB die, is the best basically. item. I, I I would like just go for a damage right there. Maybe yeah. even a Desolator would be super good on him right now. The fact he died in that last fight won IG the fight because he hit Reincarnation Slow and all five heroes. Yeah, it's actually very... I feel it's underrated, his ultimate. The slow is actually really good. Yeah. Combine that with the new Lightning Storm, 75% slow, man. It's the, the slow strat. So, so <laughs> constant. Perma slow. No. Then, you get, then you get an upheaval on that. Oh, perfect. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, super dead, like you know. Soul. Get disrupted. Up. There he goes. Right. Ice Blast is gonna come in. Do our IG. Any more top lane? Oh, Sunstrike will land. Ferrari for 30. It's not gonna juke that. Being a snipe <laughs> this time around. And middle lane. I think they want to try and kill the Weaver. Right. Two of these guys. Oh, Twan. They've got the Sentry Ward there. Misses the stun, unfortunately. Air is gonna be chased down. No. Oh, he might run into Law. He does. He's got another Sentry as well. The Chain Stun isn't there. Twan Stun was on cooling. He time lapses back into the oh, waiting dead. arms of the Shadow Demon. This will set the stun. Down goes Air. Nicely played by IG. This time around, Twan and Faith is working so much better together as a unit. Yeah, this this game they are a lot better on the same page. I guess they had the team top and it worked. Oh, Roshan attempted by IG now. Luo. He's the one on the front lines. He has gone for the death so you talked about, so pure damage output from Lua. Doesn't get back off here. This Ice Blast with the uh, armor on actually quite troublesome. Nice micro from Faith there. Gets the illusion coming. Uh, they are not Dyer's confident with it. They're not going to finish it. They need the death all. Oh, the Tide is going to casually run it. Lol. He's, he's spotted by the Sentry Ward. Great Fire Blast will hit him. Blink, full stop. Ninja Light gets the insta crack and the force down the mech charge from him. He's got enough money for a blink, but he hasn't bought it just yet. Lua gonna be in the front lines here. They're gonna lose YYF though. Lua gonna go down. That's another reincarnation zone. Absolutely everyone. The Tide gonna go down. Ice Blast is perfect. Catches up Chuan and Shadow Demon. Getting both of them low here. Lua's been hit by it as well. He's trying to chase as the Weaver gonna try to finish off the squishy support. Should get Shadow Demon faith here. Or will he? Time lapse is back out. Hit by the stun though. They've got protection for it. Lua maybe gonna go down for a second time. Can he armlet toggle this one? Yes, he can. You bet he can. Super wants him. He's trying to chase, but he's armlet toggling up in the trees. He is super in trouble. Crit, crit. He gets the crit. Chuan now gets a stun on air. Air is low. He's gonna go down. DT lose four. Oh dear, what a disaster for the Dreamtime team. IG just fading them into that one. They use Ravage on the two tanks again. Roshan has fallen the into the the Rift King. Yeah. Yeah. Like he said, needs the blink. He attack. had the money for the blink at the start of the fight, but he just didn't buy it. Oh yeah. It wasn't in time. He needs the blink so badly. Uh, but the, the oh. next fight with the Aegis, even with the blink, it's unclear whether they can still win the fight. Yeah. And they gave Aegis to Lua. I'm, I'm surprised Lua gets the Aegis there. I mean, third life is nice, but... Uh, give it like your invoker. Yeah, I think you would give it, rather give it to the invoker. Or maybe even even the centaur. The centaur yeah. revive comes, drops another combo. So much damage with that. Lua's going to be level 16 as well, so it's a 60 second corner. thing is, if, you, if you're killing Lua twice, like, it's probably because his teammates are dead and you'll just kill him a third time maybe, but... Uh, we'll see how this plan uh... out. But but still, I think like uh, he he doesn't really actually need the Aegis that badly. I feel. No. I don't think he. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even think they want to focus him. <laughs> Invoker right? might need the Aegis when Tide has a blink. The Tide could be looking for Invoker with the blink Ravage. Yeah, he has it not right now. He has the blink ready. So the next fight, uh, uh, it's gonna be like their best bet. I guess they wait for the Aegis to expire before they take a fight. This is good. Uh, IG looking to get some revenge. Dreamtime did uh, lock, knock, knock them into the lower bracket in uh, the Summit Asia. And uh, as it stands, IG not happy with that result. They want to get some WPC revenge. And right now it's looking pretty good for them, at least in game one of the two game series. Yeah, Faith is going to have a blink 
for this fight. So he's gonna be able to save his team from the Fiend's Grip, whoever that's gonna be ultimated yep. by the Fiend. Dyer's top tower is under attack. He's been really good on the, on the shadow damage so far, seeing up a lot of kills with the front, Dyer's but now he's gonna be in defensive mode. Fallen. Say as far back as possible, and that's Radiant's the thing, if, if Kai goes in with a blink ravage attack. on someone like the Invoker, you can blink in and disrupt him to save his life. Yeah, the blink is a really good item on the Shadow Demon in in this situation against the Tide. And not to mention only the Tide, the Bane ultimate, and even even the arrow. Every, <laughs> everything is just gonna be counteracted by the disruption. Aghanim Scepter still being worked on for Dreamy U. He had this point booster huh, Staff I, Wizardry a I, long time ago. I thought he had it like at uh, about 15. Yeah, but he had these two items, 15, maybe even like 14. Like he was really farmed early on, but since then he's struggled to keep up. Yeah, he died. I think he died twice in a row and didn't get any kills. Shadows take us. Moonlight like Shadow being used, that's... Ooh, DT, this may help them get out of their own base. Over the high ground they go. This There's a, a gem risky. though. Faith has gem, yeah. Yep. They see him. Oh no! Oh. The blink oh out! God. The Shadow Demon! He shivered it. They're gonna lose the Wraith King here, but that's just a reincarnation slow. This is gonna completely destroy him. Three hero hoof stomp from YYF. Oh no, it's all it's it's a disaster for DT. They only lose one, but it's so much worse than that. Surprisingly, they only lose one. <laughs> uh, that blink out from Faith. Thank you. What a disaster. If they catch him, maybe they can get one kill at least. But I still don't think they could have taken the fight. Now into the oh, high ground with the pipe. Next with three also there. They're gonna be a leap out from XTT. They can just focus down the racks if they want in July in the front line. Dyer's He's actually getting low. Gets I think it's a demonic purge on him, but you no know, purge on cooldown, so up right can get some decent damage here on the front line. Ice ball's gonna cause him some issues as well. Ferrari runs forward, pops a BKB as well as an ice ball. Wraith King in the front line. His reincarnation's coming up in 10 seconds. Luo. Okay, reincarnation. It doesn't get the reincarnation off actually proxy oh, ages. No. Dyer's okay, that was costly. Was that was quite costly. Three yeah. seconds on the cooldown on the ank. Yeah, he should have backed off a little bit earlier there. Mm, I, I think none of his teammates actually have a boss stuff. Oh yeah, none of them have a boss stuff. Fine, so we could have a bloodstone here. Fallen. Luo, still going to work yet. They've caught Luo in the front line TI. I imagine DT should expect reincarnation to be back up now. They are focusing him down. Yeah, just look at the way he's playing. Yeah. He's, he's gonna have reincarnation. <laughs> he's got 4k gold all of a sudden, so he's got a big, big farm. Uh, get an AC maybe. Oh, here comes Warrior. Not gonna connect with the Stomp. He's gonna pipe here, needs to maybe pop that one in a second, but he's gonna do so. Necro 3 back up, they really want this melee barracks. Uh, I don't think they can hold it. Yeah. Oh, here comes the storm again. Oh, that's right. In July, once again, gets another TP in. They're maybe going to lose the Wraith King. Nice start. They get the Bane first. Why are we in a bit of trouble here? The slow being applied to so many of these TP heroes. There's your pipe. And it looks like they're not going to be able to chase down anymore here. They get the racks, and that's what they came for. So they'll just back off. No casualties on the ID side. Just a couple cooldowns being used is all. Yeah. The only casualty is the Wraith King's first life. Well, his first, second, and third life. <laughs> But we've got plenty more. Uh, they can just rings and repeat, wait for their cooldowns to come up again and just push once more. Yeah. No Aegis for some time, but I don't think they care too much for the Aegis. They may even have like an Assault Crest on Luo if they, if they want to buy something like that. Yeah, I think that's one of the good options that he has right now, the Assault. Or if he wants to go for even more damage, just get the Daedalus, the crit. Stack the crits, do you think? Hmm. Get gives you more chance to get crits, but the, the the spell actually the passive actually gives a higher crit than the item. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's only fifteen percent, I guess. But you can stack crits like with diminishing returns anyway. Yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad. But he's finally gonna go for the blink. <laughs> the late game. Oh, oh wait. Nope. Sold it. Oh, he sold it. Yeah. I think he's like, well, if I was gonna go blink, I should have got an age ago. X he actually walked into him. <laughs> he pa panicked. Yeah. Uh, pr he probably was like. Man, if I'm getting this item, I should have gotten it 15 minutes yeah. ago. Yeah, it's like I can't buy a blink now. My team will make fun of me. <laughs> Everyone's gonna make fun of me if I buy a blink. Let's, let's sell this quickly. He's got 5.5k. At this point, you have this much money, like blink dagger. You may as well get your assault caress, your Mjolnir, get, whatever it is. I get guess the not Yolo, Mjolnir, but... get the Yolo rapier. Yeah, why not? Refresh your old man. 
Get the refresher on. Oh yeah, refresher. I've seen people buy it, but I don't really like that item too much. But you're it's, a, you're it's nice to have. Too. Double stun plus Double getting your ultimate damage. back up. If you're about to die, you get another stun and you maybe get an ulti. Man, would you? I'd rather get a rapier. And then refresher. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't know the uh, the manliest racing build. Yeah, so you have to so have the refresher. So you go re refresher and what? And rapier. You get both. You mix them up. Mix and match. Dyer's top but refresher is, is key. Refresher is key. Refresher is key to not allow your divine to drop. Radiant yeah, exactly. And Lua now, he's leading the charge in this top lane. He's bought something. What's he bought? He's bought a BKB. Oh. Chinese team. Oh. Yeah, Chinese team. You're right. Well, that's what you said. <laughs> Nope. You were convinced that he was going to get a BKB before. He he went for one a little bit later on. With this, it's like you can just pop the BKB and focus down the racks if he wants to. Won't be hit by Ravage if he times it right. Won't be hit by Arrows. Yeah, true. Miranda went Diffusal, but I feel like the Diffusal mana burn is just, just like not enough to prevent Wraith King getting off a reincarnation. Uh, the Bane's ultimate has some mana burn. Yeah. It's all, all this small amounts, like Fiend's Grip, Diffusal Blade, but Diffusal Blade is... Mm, what, like 20 mana per hit? Yeah, 20 per hit. It's not really enough. Oh, it's not much They got a two hero hooked on. They bring down the bank to start the fight off. Lua now going to snap into light. Into just needs to throw a rabbit. He can hit three. No, he can't. Not with the BKBs. Perfectly timed by Ferrari and Luo. Luo's going to try and chase, but those heroes are in this up. It's the mid lane. They want air. And not going to go down. The other heroes also. Ty's going to buy back for this, but he's got no rabbit. Racing takes a fall. We'll have to buy back. He reincarnates into a five second arrow. Luo, is he in trouble? It sure as hell looks like it. Taking a lot of damage here. The Weaver, Mirana, as well as the AA trying to finish him off. Luo needs to maybe try an armlet toggle. He does do so. Get through the beetle and they've lost Mirana. Buyback from the Mirana now immediately being used. YYF, he's still alive. Arrow gonna come through. Hits Luo again. Oh man, he goes down to the staff or so on. Mirana now on the run. Shadow Demon Disruption is there offensively. A Ice Plus could cause all kinds of problems here. YYF, he gets healed back up. Just barely kept alive. The Bloodstone. Yeah, oh, let's see. Where was the, where did that HP come from? I wasn't sure. Radiant's it looked like uh, for a second I was like, uh, Chan, Chan saw the ice blast coming in and he knew he was gonna die anyway. Oh, he suicided. Just, well, I asked my buddy. Oh my gosh, you hero, Chuan. Radiant's I saw like YYF on like 200 HP. I'm like, oh, he's gonna die the ice blast. And then I'm like, wait, was that a magic wand? It couldn't be. He just got like 900 HP. Victory. The bloodstone yeah. suicide saving, saving his friend there. Saving his buddy, and while we're gonna buy Chuan a pizza later. Well, it, it, was a, it was a nice little flashy play, but it, the game was already over, so... IG, yeah, like, take game one. In, uh... Like you said from, uh, from the start of the game, when you were... You were commenting on the Shadow Demon and Lashrock movement around the game, I think both of them played really well, this game. Yeah, uh, I think that's what... A lot of IG... IG's success is very dependent on how Faith and Chuan do it seems, like... I mean, any, any team, you have to look at the support. Team. Yeah, doesn't it actually apply to everyone? If the yeah. supports make stuff work, then... Supports decide actually... the first 50, 10 to 15 minutes of the game. Yeah, sometimes even to 20. Yeah. To that well, extent. I mean, sometimes even late game. like some, like yeah. a dis One sure. disruption can win you a late game team fight in theory, so... Or even something like a, a Lion initiation on the carry, like a Hex initiation or something like that. Supports, yeah. supports are really important right now. Yeah, uh, getting them farm, getting them having, making sure they have high impact on games. So, uh, this game around, it's IG supports doing a lot more. The Bane, uh, zero and ten in the end, really tough game for him. Ancient Apparition and two and three. AA did well, at least had a really good early start, although it got slowed down. Dreamy U's been really consistent and good for Dream Time, but unfortunately, DT Club they lose game one winter. We're gonna take a quick break, guys. When we come back, it's gonna be game two of this WPC showdown. We've got IG looking for some revenge against Dream Time after they lost in the summit. I'm Gods. He's winter. We've got more WPC action coming your way after a quick break. Don't go anywhere.